I'm Nancy Gaddis, and I'm your host tonight for Big Beautiful People and Admirers and Friends. Happy Holidays and Happy Good Friday to everyone out there. Hello, Matilda. Oh, nice Nancy. to have you here again. I love your hat. And hello, Davier, but thank you. Nice to have you here once thank again. Uh, we have a treat for the viewers. We're celebrating the Good Friday that we're here. We have beautiful flowers. Yes. This is a new studio that I'm in for the first time, Matilda. I know. How do you and like it? I love it. It's nice. It's, it's quaint. Uh, you can have a great conversation with someone here. Beautiful. Which I like. You can get to know the person and have a great interview. So for the viewers, they're going to see uh, a different studio, which we're in now. And later on, we're going to be back into the larger studio. How do you like the lighting? The lighting is fabulous. Uh, the crew did a great, uh, great, great job. Great job. So who did the lighting? I believe Rene, because he's the master of lights. Oh, thank you. <laughs> very nice. And then we have Richie for audio. Of course, the very best. And we have Joey. Jo oh, I can't. We cannot do without Joey. And Jonathan. Jonathan. Yes. And Andy. And Andy. We're so fortunate. We're so, right, we are. We have a great crew, and Davieva is here too, and she's a great friend. Yes, beautiful person. So we're going to talk about different things, but um, before that, I'd like to say happy holidays. Uh, and if you'd like to say hello to anybody out there, uh, you can. This is a live calling. You look so beautiful. Oh, wow. oh colors. I love colors. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes, and they match. And, you know, I have a great pharmacist. I just wanted to say hello out there. His name is Armand. I really can't pronounce his last name, but it's Armand and it's Ridgewood Chemist on Fresh Pond Road. So back, let's zoom back in to here. Jam. And back to Yam. Very difficult yeah, to say. Yeah, I, I think he's, uh, mm -hmm. right, well he's a great friend and he's a great pharmacist and also delivers. So um, if anybody out there needs uh, a local pharmacist, that would be him. And there's also another one on Metropolitan Avenue. Check this out, the Village Chemist. So there's two, and they both have numbers, which they, you can call 718-456-4401 uh, and that's Ridgewood Chemist. So thank you, Armin, for being such a wonderful person and helping me out, and also my family, so I'll he delivers. It's great. No, I actually have two sides. Yes, you do. There's two sides, actually, yes. and he has two locations. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they zoom that in, but uh, it's right here. You hold that one, and I'll hold this one for <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. This way. If they and the other one is Joseph, actually. So which one are you showing? Are you showing Joseph? I'm showing Joseph. Okay. La Salia. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're two great people, and, and they help the community. So being that it's uh, Queen's Public Television, I figured I'd let everybody know. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, Ridgewood Chemist. All right. Thank you, Joseph, and thank you, Aman. So, yeah, so um, he's done so many great things for us. When my aunt was sick, he actually like, what do you need? You need it right now. And he personally delivered it one day. He didn't have a delivery man. Wasn't that wonderful? Lovely. I, I, I love you that. You don't find that. No. Neighborhood, when they're small like that, they'll do things. Yes. You it know, is little just favors. wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to wish a happy birthday to uh, somebody very special who passed away and he made this hair CD a whole lot of love. Mm -hmm. He's no longer with us, um, but um, he was a great man and um, a good friend, AJ. I don't know if you've seen him here. I remember the name. AJ. Yeah, so it's called A Whole Lot of Love. If anybody knows him out there, his mm -hmm. birthday was around mm -hmm. not I'll too far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you remember this one? Or do you yeah, remember? I remember He had him. long red hair. Very nice yeah, person. very nice. I remember him. Blue eyes, green eyes. He was a very nice person. Yeah, unfortunately, um, he's not here anymore, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. still thinking of him. He was a very good friend, and everybody out there does know him, AJ, who made this great CD, A Whole Lot of Love. But and who else's birthday was it this week? Hmm. Ah, my birthday. Yeah. Ah, right. Saturday, I had a little get-together. I didn't really celebrate, celebrate my birthday. But a lot of friends came, Davieva came, Joe was there, a few of my friends came. We had about 75 people. It was a oh, small that's a good number. Mm -hmm. In Brooklyn, uh, it was at Paco's Tacos yeah, Paco's in Brooklyn, Tacos. and all of the big, beautiful women came out. Mm. 
And a lot of handsome men, I might say. Wonderful. I seen you dancing, Davieva. Yeah, I cut loose a bit. I love to dance. A bit? Oh, how no, yeah. not a bit, a whole lot. She was dancing. I never seen her dance. Mm -hmm. Did you dance, Nancy? I could not oh, dance. Oh, what a shame. Um, on your yeah, birthday. unfortunately. But you could move in the chair a little yeah, bit. Yeah, unfortunately, I had a mini stroke. I had a TIA. Mm -hmm. And I'm lucky to be here. Thank yes, you, God. Yes, you're fortunate, um, yes. So, that's and you what look happened. good. You well, look good. Considering Nothing happened. What happened? A few days in the hospital. Aspirins helped immediately. I took my aspirins. Good for you. Yeah, I had a lot of numbness. But I'm almost there. I'm almost better. Mm -hmm. And I'm here tonight. I wasn't going to come, but I said, being that I have you and Davieva to support me. Yes. I'm and happy I had to have a you both here. My birthday was the 14th. Oh, and happy birthday to happy you. Yes. Happy birthday. Pisces. 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 Yes, Pisces are good people. Excellent. We're very creative. And I got a birthday card from somebody here today. Wow. Oh, look at this. It's like a Bible, is it? Oh, thank you. I'm not going to read it out loud, but thank you. Uh, I wish I could do more. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the birthday card from Violet and Baby Angel. Yeah, I got creative with my children's name. Yes, very nice. Thank you so much. And, oh, I got a great little present from Joey. He what? bought me this huge charger because my phone is always dying out. And I have this little phone. Oh. And it's always it's always dying. And you know what? The iPhone, the iPhone, the iPhone four dies out. You can't replace a battery. That's something that I didn't know. Neither did I. So is that the charger? No, this is oh. the phone. But you cannot you cannot put a battery in here. So he got me this used charger. I didn't bring it on with me. It's about this big, and you could charge two phones in case you have somebody with you. And, and do you have what, like a cord, or you just yes? I have several cords where you can fit all different types of telephones which is great so the other day oh we went out right that we had to tell her where we went on Wednesday night and we met mr. Clifford Jacobs oh my gosh we had such an amazing we time. had a great time I've never been uh, to a celebration as such oh Lord it, it was it was this to the is tea. Where we went Oh, this is lovely. We went to 23rd Street to the Masons. Salmon Ceremonial And it was feast. open to the public. You didn't know about that? No. No, you missed it. You have to come next year. Yes. It was the feast of? Solemn Ceremonial Feast of the Paschal Lamb. Lamb. Yes, yes, it was wonderful and very spiritual. Oh, you uh, should have told me. Where I was didn't I know that the, you the didn't know about it. No. It's annual. So how about next year you yes. go? The Masons open the door once a year. And it's wonderful. Look yes. at this. I just show the viewers. So maybe next year um, I can let some of the viewers know. I mean, like it is, seats are limited, though. You know. But so the speech that Clifford delivered was exquisite. Oh, it was, it was oh, beautiful. He, oh, he's, he's, an he's an excellent. Oh, yes. It was, it was moving. Mm -hmm. It was right. so beautiful. It was a great ceremony. Indeed. He's a, a, deep a Very, person. very. It was nice. It I was really great. did like it. I enjoyed myself. It was unique. Everybody did everything to the T. I mean, it's good. it was really nice. It, it was, was a very, and, very and, nice and experience. And I called up Davieva, and I said, Davieva, she's a trooper. And I said, do you want to go? She didn't say no. She didn't ask. Next time, I'm going to let you know. Okay. And so are, do you do things on the spur of the moment, or must it be planned? No, I don't plan. I like to wash my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing for Easter? The truth, I want to stay home, because I began doing a piece of writing. And I would love to finish it. That's all. That's the only reason. Um, no, but that's you? good because I believe that I'm going to be with family mm -hmm. um, and with my children. And that's always nice to be with family for Easter. Although Saturday I would like to see my grandson, so maybe we'll bake a little cake or something. Mm. And today my grandson was making Easter eggs and... And he loves arts and crafts, and he likes to make cupcakes. How old is he? He's only six, Good. little Michael. Mm -hmm. But since he was young, he always wanted to be in the kitchen cooking. Mm -hmm. He likes to create and draw. Mm -hmm. So today he was with one of my sisters, and he was making painted eggs and uh, frosting on the cupcakes and all that. I have pictures of it, but I'm not going to put it up there. But kids love that. So happy Easter, everybody. All those little kids are having a great time. Mm -hmm. And the Easter hunt will be great because they're going to find money and candy and those little eggs. You're still doing that. Do you that. remember, Davieva, when you did oh, that please, when your children yes. were small? Yeah, I used to put it all over the house, everywhere. And then some we would forget and find it like two, three days later. <laughs> did you ever do that? Did you ever do oh, Easter Oh, definitely. Hunt? You did? Yes, did with you? my daughter and my five nieces. And, oh, yes, exciting. <laughs> exciting. No, no, for kids. It, it's, it's for children and also... 
you know, you go to church, and if you don't go to church, you just thank God for what you have. And it's very important to thank Him, whatever you have, because there's only one. Mm -hmm. So now, we have you here, which is Matilda. I don't know if everybody knows you and what you do, and you're excellent at dreams. Well, yes, I, so I do So, Matilda, dream. you have your own show. I know you do. I do. I, uh, the name of the show is Tilda Vision Ideas, and in the show, I cover dreams. I love, as a matter of fact, I was working on a dream this morning, and I can easily work six hours, mm -hmm. you know, taking out the symbols and interpreting and then getting the message, because dreams always have a message. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then I look over and I say, oh, the, the dream is flowers. giving me, it's beautiful, I know. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's right in my eye. Um, I'm sorry. No, so no, leave, leave it, it because they, they arranged it so beautifully. I know. No, it looks beautiful. I love yes. these. So, um, mm -hmm. I enjoy also speaking about the Word of God. Um, I, I really love to engage in I'm talking about and that. Davide and I went together to last Sunday. T to where? To the church. Mm -hmm. And everywhere we went, there was no parking. I have a handicap. And it, every spot was Even done. the handicap was yes. taken? And, and you know it says no parking. But you, that was Palm Sunday, so everybody comes out. But to go to the yeah, it was like yeah, but where there was handicapped, there was not even one spot, and so I said, oh wow, that yeah, but that leaves one more church left. Let's see what we can find. You're for real. You and then we went place. to the next one, and we went to a Polish, and where? we sat where? there um, in, in Glendale. No, Glendale. we were in Glendale, and I was like, okay. So she says, well, let's go in and let let me just go get the palms. I'll come right out. I says, oh no, we have to do the whole mass. I didn't understand a word. Because it was in Polish. It was in Polish, but it was still beautiful. Mm -hmm. and did they the serve communion? Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. They yeah, did wonderful. everything. And it was actually even longer. It was like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. But it was wall to wall. People were standing, right, Davy? Yeah, they were. Did you understand back. anything? I mean, you know just, the typical just, mass, just what Just some of the about. words. Mm -hmm. There's zoin and uh, uh, some of the stuff that's, you know, biblical. They can't really change it, just the pronunciation. No, yeah, and and I sang some of the songs because a lot of it, vowels. You know, so, uh, <laughs> so they no, sang, it was beautiful. They it was still it was beautiful. beautiful, yeah, it, it was, was awesome. Very nice. beautiful. Awesome. And the church was beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it was breathtaking. So, um, did you get a chance to get any palms, or you don't? No, no, I'm Christian. Okay. Look, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's okay. But it's interesting that you decided to go to another church. I used to visit different churches, I love but not that. on the same day. Mm. I love doing that, and I love to go to other than Catholic churches. Mm -hmm. I really do. Oh, have you ever? Well, you know, they, they call them black churches. It's, it's, that's not a right name for it. But the people, they are so joyous. Mm -hmm. and they Evangelical. Sing and they clap. Yes. Evangelical churches. Oh, oh, I just love it. It's breathtaking to listen to It'll them. It'll be there and for three hours. Yes. Yes, they spend <laughs> a lot of singing and, and, and clapping and, Spanish? and moving. Spanish, no, English, no Spanish. English. The Spanish, uh, los cursillistas, they're very expressive. No, but I think that all of, it, all of it is good, and it, and, it bring, and it makes your heart fulfilled. Yes. And, and it's happiness. It certainly is. It brings a lot of joy to you. Yes. Right? Yeah, it's like free therapy. I remember uh, Arsenio Hall said so at the church. So this Sunday we're going to venture off again, right? Yeah, well, let's see where we go. Maybe we'll, mass. We'll, we'll go to Korean church. I've been mm -hmm. to one already, and mm -hmm. it was awesome. It yeah. was they were very nice. I've been to a Korean church, As a Haitian fact, church. I will be attending a Korean healing service tomorrow in the morning. Oh, that's well, nice. That, that is, um, it's about an hour away, near Connecticut. I mm. don't know the address offhand. Mm -hmm. That's cool. He does healing. You know, like he's, uh, what do we call it when they have these belts and they master of Qigong or whatever? Okay. And it is what type of church again? No, it'll be a service. It'll be a healing service. Oh, a healing service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved with that? Well, that, my girlfriend, Mimi, my girlfriend Mimi. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mimi and I, we sometimes visit different places. We we also visited a church in Patchogue some time oh, back. So you like doing I love doing yes. that. And before that, we visited the Tao Temple. <laughs> nice. We, we love to... Um, I don't know. We have extremely know. We need to curious. Off. I love doing that. I love to go to different places. Yes, places. and you you see how they do healing, and and it's different. Each each person conducts the healing service differently. 
Mm -hmm. So tomorrow will be a first for me, but she's been there like over What time month. does it start? Well, I'll, I'll be by my girlfriend's by 11 in the morning and probably get there by 12. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And is it open or is it only by invitation? He's, no, it's open. It's open. However, my girlfriend Mimi, she always brings her friends, so she's bringing me tomorrow. An hour from here? Connecticut. Yes. Yeah, near Connecticut. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And um, so I understand that he has a, what do we call them, a bench? You know, like when they do massage or things, but he doesn't need to touch you or he may touch you. He may put his palm on your back. Um, mm. mm -hmm. um, I guess we call them energy healers. Yes. Oh, yes. Th you're aware of those. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it has, in my opinion, it has to do with your faith, whether you believe the healer or their ability. I, I think if you just believe in God that there's only one, because we would not all be here if there wasn't you don't really have to like a lot of people brag about going to church but that's not what it's about it's not about bragging it's about believing what's in your heart and a lot of people do pray in their homes they don't go to churches and they believe in god mm -hmm. so but yes there is only one no matter what religion so I that mean, that's my belief also there's yes, one god i only believe in and one and there's no one no one other right uh, uh -huh. However, we I believe in the Holy Trinity, which is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes, which is I God, believe in that. I went Jesus to Catholic and school when I was a me little too. girl. Yes. Me too, me too. And how about you, Debbie? Well, to be honest, I've had the privilege to study religion, different. I studied Islam for a year, Mormonism, mm -hmm. Jehovah Witness, Baptist, Pre uh, Presbyterian, I mean, uh, and, uh, and uh, the Masons, actually. That also, I've been studying this, let me see, for almost 20 years, different, you know, because I am a Christian, non-denominational, and as you're aware, uh, my children and I, we used to be gospel singers for 16 years. The reason I say used to, because we took three years hiatus, especially now since I'm taking care of my mom. Yes. I also believe in the Trinity, but I was able to study the Torah, so as a Mesonaic Christian, which I accept the Jewish tradition, but also accept the gospel. You know, and right, and and like I said, there's only one God, so you can go to different places, and you could believe in all because there's only one. Like but I it's good to learn, like she said. You see how they their faith, because uh, how can a Christian be in a, in the mosque? You know, in Islam, and I studied well, the Quran. I've never for been to. That was one place I've never. I been. haven't been to a mosque, but I did uh, enter the synagogue, and it was interesting because as, as I entered. You know, and I tried to sit in the back, but not the last pew. So people would come to me, and wanted, wanted, they were curious as to why I was there. Right. Because, you know. Th I, right. I people do wonder why, but why not? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yeah, of course. So we're getting, we're reaching like a peak. Like what we're going to get to is we're going to go to the dreams. So I always love okay. to have Matilda do you have, here. Do you have a dream? N you know, I can't remember it right now, okay. but I know that the viewers out there will will be calling you in. Okay, so because they we're going to be talking about dreams, and if you have, you a, have dream, a dream, please. Uh, what, call which one do you in. want to hear today? Oh, right. like, oh which one? So she's a dreamer. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah. she remembers. She remembers. Yeah, the and that's the the thing. I remember it. I'm always like, what the <laughs> heck did that mean? And that'll scare me. What does it mean? Me. Somebody said told me something about a dream, and I said you have to ask Matilda. And, I'm, and I can't, do you believe, I can't remember? It was only like a few days ago. It was not you, right? No, no. It was someone else. It might have been my friend Marion okay. or someone, someone close to me, and I just don't remember. Well, well, what I tell the people. Oh, I know who it was, my cousin Carol. Oh, you remember. Happy birthday to Carol. Also, she I remember sees? now. I'm sorry, I'm going to interfere no, for no, a moment. No, no, it's cool, cool. My cousin's other half, Jerry, died two years ago, and her daughter, Kim, was at home and her little boy is this a son, dream she thought it was a dream but she said it was real she saw jerry walking from one room to the other in her home recently mm -hmm. well she has to distinguish whether it was a dream or whether she no she was sleeping and she woke up and, and she saw woke him up. okay so we have we have sometimes a dream that you're still dreaming even though your eyes are open. Oh, really? Has That's that what happened? I thought. I told her that. You know, you, your eyes are open, but you're still seeing an image. You're, you know, it's evaporating. It's disappearing. 
but you still see it. It's like a, an image embedded in your brain somehow, in your mind. And so and when you're sleeping, you can open your eyes and, and still sleep and still see and it. Still open, right? Yes, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Amazing, because it is I amazing. said that to my cousin, because my s cousin Carol called me yesterday and told me about her daughter waking up. She was dreaming about Jerry, and then she woke up, opened her eyes, and saw him walk through her house. Now, she was in Staten Island. She doesn't live here mm -hmm. in Queens. Mm -hmm. And her little son, her little boy is having a hard time forget, you know, like, oh, that's her having... grandpa. That's his grandfather, so he loved him so much. He's so small and young. But When my daughter was younger, for a, a child, child, for a child, she would yes. wake up, you know, crying and calling for me. And uh, she would say, oh, you know, he's standing there. He's looking at me. But, but she who had, is looking at? So who I would looking? always tell her it was an angel, you know, guarding her while she slept. So if you see someone who passed and you open your eyes out of a dream. Now we're talking about dreams. We are at goddesses. And here is Matilda. And she will answer questions about dreams. Yes. So we're talking about dreams. Mm -hmm. So now if someone's sleeping, they can still be asleep with their eyes open. Oh, so, yes, definitely. So if you see somebody that passed and you see them, or you think you see them, and you have your eyes open, what does that mean? All right, so many, many, many times, uh, memory is housed in the soul part. This is your soul part. Memories, your will, your goals, your desires, you know, that's where it is. So your desire for that person, something you, you need to relive, or some unfinished business, so, so you will dream about them, or they may come in your dream, go through your own unconscious is called a personal unconscious and give you a message true okay but everything comes down from God whatever God allows that happens so God goes through your own personal unconscious appears in your dream state Th they call them dream I'm going to take this hat off for a minute okay <laughs> wonderful and just go like this to the back of your hair uh -huh. we, we comb our hair with our hands yeah we do and, and <laughs> what I always tell people you know, if, if you feel you, you you think you may forget the dream, have a pad ready and a pencil and a very... And write it down. Yeah, and a small flashlight because you don't want to wake up to these okay. bright lights because you'll, you'll come out of the dream. This way you're still kind of in the dreams. And just jot down key words for so you to remember. So you're saying that when you do see someone who passed and it, it's sort of, you feel that they're still in your life. That, that's a connection. They are still in your life. Because, of course, because we hold them through memory. Because you have memories. So... My cousin thought that perhaps it was a message he wanted to bring her. So Possibly. I was thinking that might be yes. a message because Carol and, and Jerry were very much in love. Wow. And he passed, and she just keeps asking, why did God have to take him? He was very young. Mm. You know, he was only like maybe f close to 50. Well, we, we never know the end. Mm -hmm. We never know the, the end nor the beginning, really, but God does. But as soon as you become very happy, she was ex, she was so happy, she lost him. So that's what happens. He's taking, you know, I guess he did what he had to do here, his journey. It's like a journey. God gives us a journey. He does. And so the, he came to the end of his journey. Mm -hmm. So I thought. It's, yes, of course. Because God, you know, no one can leave this plane unless God, God allows it. Right. So I think that we all should before we go you know do good to everyone even though people are bad mm -hmm. always to us sometimes and talk bad and you have to be good to people so that's they the second you. commandment you're talking so about. so i want to tell the viewers to call in and ask matilda ask matilda questions about dream if you had a dream you are watching goddesses but matilda is a very special guest tonight because it's good friday yes and we want to keep it clean Right, so yeah. we're being good tonight. We're being good. There's well, no, yeah. there's no dancing girls. No. I know the viewers. That's what they want. No, but today's today's Good Friday. Good Friday, like you mentioned. Yes, and and as you know, Christ died on the cross on Good Friday. Yes, that's so, correct. So even he was condemned, so to speak, because of our sins. We condemned him. You know, he was pure. He was perfect. He was holy. But through our imperfection. He sacrificed his life. He gave it up willingly. That's right. That so we may have life. The viewers need to call in and let us know mm -hmm. what their dreams are, whatever they are. Matilda will try to. Well, let me tell you my oh, dream. Oh, yes. I'm yes. sorry. Dennis Dennis is on the air. Oh, wait. Oh, let's Dennis. go to Dennis. Okay. Where are you, Dennis? 
I'm home watching the TV. How are you tonight, Dennis? I'm okay. I'm doing okay. And you? I'm doing good. And we're sitting here with Matilda and Davieva. Okay. And where are you from? Uh, what part of Queens? Um, South Ozone. Very nice. Uh, do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. I had a dream last night, and I just want to know what it really signifies. Okay. Go ahead, Dennis. I dream that I walk into a toilet pit. You walked into where? A, a toilet pit. Toilet? A toilet. Yes. Or a bathroom. No, a toilet. You walked into... You know, into like, like over here in, in New York, you're not getting the toilet where we normally get in the Caribbean. Oh, so, so my question is, did you walk into the room where the toilet was, or did you walk into the toilet bowl or the, 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 the space where the fecal matter goes? No, it's, it's not a room. Like, like, you know, in the Caribbean... In the Caribbean, outhouse? they have the toilet at the backyard. The uh, outhouse. You walked into the outhouse. Yes, okay. So, like, I just stepped into the toilet. Oh, you stepped right into it. And, into and, it. And was it dirty? It was so dirty. So dirty. Okay, I hear you. So, go ahead. Continue. So, I just want to know what what is that dream signify? All right, it, and that was the end of the dream? Was there a... Um, was I, there a well, uh, well, uh, yeah, I woke up right away and I said, oh my God, I want to know what this dream signify. Okay, so in, in waking life, uh, mm -hmm. you, you have to be extremely careful, cautious, as to where you go, a space. A space could be any place. It, it could be uh, a contact with someone. It could be a, a business, a situation, a circumstance an event, you have to be careful because you, you're, you're going into waste and you're getting dirty. Mm. So you have to be extremely uh, alert as to what endeavors you or who you are connected and related to that may damage you. They may damage you either on different levels, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So be extremely aware of where you're stepping, where you're going, who you're hanging out with. Okay? Okay. Excuse me, can it also mean that he misses where he's from? Could that mean not that too or no? Mm -hmm. Because he walked into the waste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The waste okay. is too, too significant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in other words, be careful.